Hello, I'm Scruffy, and welcome to episode 7 of Playing Through Pikmin 4. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a minor spoiler warning for this video, and for future videos, because we're venturing to the second area of Pikmin 4, and it's probably best if you know the story so far, uh, especially events that have happened in the last two episodes that I've done. So, just putting that out there for people who are new to the game or new to this series. And with that in mind, uh, last episode, we clashed with none other than the exact person that I'm looking for, Captain Olimar. Uh, he's become a leafling, so I assume he failed to get all of his ship parts and escape the planet. He no longer wears a helmet. He's completely covered in like red, bushy leaves and a Pikmin stem. And I had to face off with him in a battle of Dondori uh, because he had kidnapped uh, a castaway. Uh, him and his dog Moss. But thankfully I more than doubled his Dondori score, so I got to take the castaway. And here they are. Now, these leafling castaways, they were converted, by the way. I saw Olimar uh, absorb them into the onion, and they became leaflings like this. Uh, and they're out cold until we can find our doctor on the rescue team and have them take a look at them. Um, so that's what's happening there. And otherwise, we kind of wrapped up most of the Sun Speckled Terrace. We ventured to a couple more caves, uh, battled a couple more enemies, and saved a few more castaways. For example, Dingo here, our ranger on the rescue team, who I think might actually have a mission for me. Uh, I just didn't reveal it by talking to him enough. But... Yeah, okay. Okay, Tenderfoot. Let's see what you're made of. Uh, don't give me that look. You can handle some extra credit work. Check out every inch of this planet until you've explored each area 100%. Yeah, okay. So a slight problem with that that I'll explain in a moment. So... I got up to 98% with the Sun Speckled Terrace. The last thing, besides any residual treasures I might have missed, is a blue onion that I could add to this onion to propagate blue Pikmin, if I had any. Uh, the problem is that with the current Pikmin cap that I have and where the blue Pikmin is placed, or where the blue onion is placed, uh, I just can't hazard it. Pikmin would certainly drown if I, if I attempted it. And that would be some pretty tragic irony. So, uh, instead I'm going to head to the Blossoming Arcadia today, and we ought to find something there that will help. But first, let's purchase some gear and some skills. Okay, Russ has a new prototype. So let's see what that is. The Idle Counter shows a running tally of how many Pikmin are standing idle. Okay. Yeah, that's... that's, uh, not bad. Not necessarily vital. An HP increase. And one for Ochi as well. And a lamp? A headlamp for Ochi! Ooh, I get the feeling that that one might be important coming up. We haven't had any particularly dark caves yet, but... Yeah, that might be helpful. Why not? Okay. And as for new items, we can just craft bomb rocks. Excuse me? Made from all natural, organic materials. These bombs are strong enough to destroy reinforced walls. Intrigued? Yes, I am intrigued. I'll take a prototype. Just be careful not to get caught in the blast zone. Yes. Wow. That's the first time, like, bomb rocks have existed in all the Pikmin games, but that's the first time we can make them. <laughs> Excellent. Um, as for the other stuff, I'm gonna hold off. I need to conserve raw materials for building stuff on the field. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. And let's spend some puppy points. 
Let's train. Um, let's see. I've already buffed uh, Ochi's carrying strength. I could buff their attack. But I'm also very interested in directing Ochi to gather Pikmin for me. Round up any stray Pikmin. Just any? On the field? Oh, wow. Okay. So Ochi whistles them up. And then just comes right back to me. Honestly, it's useful. But I'm wondering if that might be a little superfluous, because I could always just switch to Ochi, and I believe Ochi can whistle Pikmin himself. Um, so I might actually lessen the energy charge on Rush, because Rush, I know that I use that all the time, uh, and I'm going to be using it a lot more. So let's make that a little easier. Perfect. A uh, more powerful impact, we'll save that for later. Especially since I only have two points left. Let's conserve those points. Alright. Great! And now I feel all prepared for the day. So, let's... Let's head out to the new area. Ugh, yeah. 98. I wonder, can I check the map from here? No. Just a couple of, yeah, a little bit of surface stuff left. I'm sure there's a treasure there that I've missed, but I think I'll, I'll just devote a day to, like, completing that, farming some raw materials just, just later. For now, let's focus on blossoming Arcadia. Okay, so we have a new musical introduction to this area, and it looks a lot more uh, spring-like. You know, there's there's blossoms falling through the air. It reminds me of the Awakening Wood a bit. All right, what's Shepard got to say? Come in, over. Ochi has never really liked getting wet, but I've been working on it with him in the bathtub aboard the SS Shepard. And last night, he had a big breakthrough. Your rescue pup can swim! Mom. Now that he's over his dislike of water, he can jump in and use the doggy paddle to swim through any water obstacle. Get on Ochi's back with the Pikmin, and you can ride across bodies of water to explore new areas. Oh, now you tell me. Ochi, very good job. Just well done conquering your, your fear. Uh, but that would have been quite useful. I don't think exactly what I need. Wait, I'm missing the Pikmin. <laughs> Hang on. I'm just thinking about that blue onion. Uh, but I'll have to save that for later. Let's, uh... Oh, really? You don't recommend I bring out any red Pikmin? You know what? I'll I'll humor that choice. Let's try it. Ooh. Look at this. It's a baby snagret. Hi. <laughs> Are you you're not friendly. Of course not. You're you're a snagret. Gosh. I wonder what you're called. We've got some Garden of Hopish music here. Uh, 
Oh. I wonder if that percussion is tied to anything. Because now that I know the true, like, potential that this music has... Yeah, there's the sound for the spectralids. Gosh, what an area. And look at, like, look at the background here. Got all these cherry blossoms. And a big elephant slide. There's the skitter leaf sound. Skitter leaves. Well, water won't be as much of a problem now because it, Ochi can swim through. Oh! Really? Here you are again. Alright, this is what I was talking about. It's Olimar again. It's that leafling! Be careful. That could be the one who attacked Dingo. Get the yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that could be Bernard on the ground next to them. That's right. Dingo has been looking for Bernard, who is the pilot of my crew. Uh... And it seems that at some point or another, they're probably in the clutches of Olimar. Whoever it is, we can't let them get turned into a leafling. Follow them. All right. Uh, real quick. I'll collect some raw material and then I'll head in there. That certainly is nearby. Oh, that's right. Pikmin won't follow me into this, so I didn't... I don't even need to whistle them to me for this. Alright. Let's go for it. Battle in a box. Rescue the kidnapped castaway. Okay. Battle in a box. With a Dondori level 2. So, you have come again. Those who do not embrace Dondori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. I will determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dondori battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. Oh? One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. These higher values make them bonus finds. Ooh. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you earn double the points. Do you think you can out Dondori me? Well, certainly not with only five ice pikmen. Okay, uh, I need to find a persimmon. If Ochi could pluck Pikmin, that'd be awesome. Oh wait, I don't even need to pluck Pikmin, they just show up. Alright, Ochi, let's uh, dig that up. Can I... I can stand to do that, yeah. Although, they're not the best at attacking. <laughs> Ouch. I'm sorry, Ochi. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not sure if he actually ate that Pikmin, but I hope not. Alright, and once this is out... 
I need to collect some more other items. Let's see. Is there anything I could be doing more efficiently? I don't think so. Everyone's occupied. Oh, hey! I get a trumpet in the melody when I'm in the lead. They can attack Moss. If you think you're, you want to collect anything here, you're going to have to contend with the bull board that you didn't defeat, Olimar. Can Ochi contest this? No. Ochi, don't, don't bother. Uh, what else can I go for? It's a bit dangerous to go for a bull board. Oh, they've added a bonus fine. Uh, here, Ochi. There's another strawberry. I could, uh... <laughs> I apologize if there's little commentary during these sections, but... This does, uh, seem to need a fair bit of focus. Oh, uh, limes are seven, not five. And besides, I shouldn't be going for a lime. It's not a bonus. Although, that's not to say it'd be difficult. Ooh! He's stealing my sunseed berry! I think I think it I let a nice Pikmin get consumed there, unfortunately. By you. But I suppose these Pikmin belong to or were found by Olimar, so I wonder if that counts. How do you like that, Olimar? I've nearly quadrupled your score. Perfect. Oh! Oh, I see. I may have won, but the amount by which I win determines the uh, quality of a medal that I get. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dondori. I leave the rest to you. Hmm, off they go again. Thankfully, we recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory! Yeah, but, but what's the nature of all this? All uh, staging battles like these for castaways. Okay, well, a hectic start to a otherwise pretty peaceful day. Yeah, let's bring back out all of these. And let's work on this bridge with uh, a bunch of it. I wonder. That would take 30. Okay. 
which I could bring out, but I wouldn't have many Pikmin left over. Hold on. Where am I? Where am I going? I am going to get some Flarlick. That's what I'd like to do. I could stand to do that perhaps by freezing the water and put, bringing yellow Pikmin here. Ooh. Maybe Russ will have more success with getting their ID information. Uh, no such luck. Huh? Does this mean that when someone becomes a leafling, their biometric authentication data becomes unreadable? Even if science is unable to solve this problem, if even science is able to solve this problem, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss. Hmm. Where am I? Okay. I sh Yeah. I'll head back here because first thing I want to do is freeze the water and see if I can't... Oh, never mind. No, wait! Yeah, I could get that. It's inside that, uh, that wooden box there. So I could feasibly get that with yellow picking. Taking a moment to chase some butterflies. You know how it is. Okay, um... I'm going to need to whistle a couple yellow Pikmin here so that I can swap them out for ice Pikmin. Maybe they've completed this bridge. They have. Great work. All right, let's get 30 uh, ice Pikmin. Let's see, 10 there and 30 there, and there we go. Okay, and with these 30 ice Pikmin, I can freeze this water. Oh, that'd be closer. Perfect. And with the remaining yellow Pikmin, I can dig this up. Seems to be a big hose forming a barrier here. Oh, it froze! <laughs> okay, there's a way up here. And there's a second base! Just like that! I'll definitely want to, uh, craft this bridge here. Hello, hello. The number of Pikmin you can withdraw has increased by 10 again! This makes me want to feed that onion even more. Right? Okay. Let's collect our Pikmin. I wonder if I could... Hmm... I don't think I'll change the base quite yet, because I'll... S I will build this bridge first. And while they're doing that, I can explore over here. It's like... Almost like a calliope sort of sound. Is that a ring pop? <laughs> yeah, these guys are menacing. I can't let them have the chance. A ring pop. That's funny. Couple of Pikmin on here. Uh, and Ochi, why not? 
and then the rest of you can deliver that. And look at that. Efficiency. And then when they're finished, I can collect them with Ochi. Oh gosh, just look at this scenery. Excellent. Yeah. That is all. <laughs> I just wanted to rush into it and speed it up a little bit. And now I think it's done. Yeah. Oh, oh she can even throw them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ochi can whistle too. Just a certified hybrid captain and Pikmin. Amazing. Ah, but once I'm back on Ochi, it switch it switches back to myself being the captain. Very, very cool. Ooh. Hold on. Where are Oh, they're right they're right over here. Another creature that's a joust mite. Some sort of like... It's another synth for sure. I kind of want to change my Pikmin numbers here. Hmm, but it still only recommends yellows and ice. And I also notice the instrument only plays while the enemy is active. So, like... If I freeze the enemy, then the instrument no longer plays. Oh, oh, wait! Oh no! Okay. I should have attempted that with Ice Pikmin. But there you have it. Uh, if it wasn't in the Dondori battle with Olimar, then that was certainly my own Pikmin getting lost by consumption. Oh, that's a shame. Strive to do better. We've got a cave here. I wonder what it could be. Sightless passage. Good thing I got that headlamp. A cave of utter darkness into which almost no light filters. I explored for a bit, relying on the glowing mushrooms to guide the way, but I turned back to avoid unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp at my disposal. I'm starting to regret this bargain buy. Uh, well, I think I'm poised to, uh, explore that then. As long as, hang on, as long as, yeah, let's, as long as that's done. Alright, recommends these two, let's bring them. I noticed right before, uh, right during that cutscene in the background, there was one yellow sprout reminding me of my, my shortcomings as a leader. Okay. It was wise to bring a headlamp. Indeed. Ooh. Water dumples, and they're extremely purple in this one. But 
Still not too bad. Not as bad as they were in the earlier games, that's for sure. Come on over, Ochi. Don't get too close. Whoa. That is quite the fire geyser. But I can still dispatch it, which is perfect. Hello? Is that... Oh. Is that a Game Boy cartridge? Uh, I'm afraid it's one I don't recognize, but I do have the Game Boy for it. Excellent. Ooh, this place is a little bit labyrinthine. Ooh, anode beetles. And they're so shiny. Oh, that's gotta be... So it's a very, like, electrical sounding synth, right? That's gotta be one that they used in a Pikmin 3 bingo battle stage. It sounds kind of like a stylophone. If anyone knows what that is, uh, kudos to you. It's like a little, like, s tiny synthesizer with a stylist added to it. It has been a while since I've seen anode beetles, but the strategy is still the same. Avoid the electric arcs between them, and hit them directly on the back to flip them over. Ooh, and this is a new base. Well, actually, sure. Let's... Ooh. Ooh. Pyroclasmic sluches? Are they responsible for these, like, flaming hot beds here? They are. Oh. Interesting. So they create, like, not only a trail of fire now, but a whole impassable fire hazard. Ah, we found our castaway. Oh, we're going to need to uh, rush them down. Actually, Ochi, yeah, you can... Carry them. Ooh, that appears to be an electric version of an enemy that I saw yesterday. Uh, it will try to crush my Pikmin. I have to not let it do that. <laughs> Doing good, Ochi. Yep. I'm on to your tricks. I'm trying to crush the rest of my Pikmin army. Oh, interesting. Even at zero health, they can still attempt it. Let's check this ID card. Francois, from Uji. For years, this scholar has been working to achieve his lifelong dream, reaching mutual understanding with plant life. Another plant enthusiast. No. The research task force. I had no idea there were researchers stranded here, too. Everyone came to this planet. Okay. 
Uh, Ochi, where are you at? Oh, you're returning to me! Good boy, Ochi. Could this be some kind of entrance? Looks like a job for Ochi. Uh, hold that thought. It's a doggy door! <laughs> Transport. Oh, I see. It's a treasure. I thought it was some sort of, like, I don't know, a special ring to stand in or something, but it's a glow ring. Let's move the base here. The base took the Pikmin with me, or with itself. This is... lovely. And this appears to be the exit. Yes. Okay. Oh! The glow ring goes with the ring pop. Let's see, we're almost done here. Well, oh. Okay. Thankfully, I knew what to do in that situation because I've encountered these beasts once before in Pikmin 2. These are my tights. And, uh. They can be pretty nasty with the way they, like, crawl around like that. Uh, and the Pikmin definitely don't seem to like something about them. <laughs> but, if you land one Pikmin on their back, uh, that takes care of them. Let's see, this is a large cave. Ochi has arrived! Yes, you have. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm going the wrong way. I want to go right in here. Yeah. I appreciate that Pikmin are, like, as they follow me, they're taking the sort of classic formation that they took in older Pikmin games. In Pikmin 3, they changed that around uh, to try and have Pikmin not get caught on corners as much by having them follow more of a, a thin trail behind the leader. Um, almost like a trail of ants. But I think they reverted it to this uh, just because, you know, it, it looks classic uh, to have a Pikmin formation like this. Okay, that's where I originally landed. And that is our exit, which I think... We're getting close to the point where we've nothing left to uh, get out of this cave. I mean, a couple raw materials couldn't hurt. Yeah, why not? Let's r ride over there. So just a bit of a winding path down here. Oh yeah, there's definitely still stuff in here. I haven't even explored this room. I'm not about to let that happen again. Ooh. Another Game Boy. Oop. There we go. And extra Pikmin Sprouts. Okay. 
carry you back. In fact, hang on, let's get the base closer to us. Use the original base point. It's so neat that Pikmin just instantly know uh, which direction to go when the base changes. Try that again. Wait, I can go through the bars. It's only OG that can't make it through the bars. That's right. Okay. Part of the Game Boy paraphernalia uh, series, I suppose. Now, is that all? No. We've got a whole other base over here and some yellow Pikmin sprouts. And I know I have a yellow onion, but you saw what happened to that single yellow Pikmin today. I'm not, I, I'm not gonna pass up some more yellow Pikmin. <laughs> I love the little songs that they sing. if there's any significance to that song. Uh, sure. Ah. You can't hide from me. Maybe that's everything. Even with the headlamp, the darkness has been a little bit, uh, disorienting. And not in the bad way, in the, the interesting, challenging way. Okay. Now I'd like to call this cave complete. I really can't see anything else, uh... Yeah, I think we're all good. So off we go! We made a rescue! Okay. The Masterpiece Plank, the Hoop of Healing, the Micromanagement Station, and more creatures. Oh no. I did leave something behind. Real detailed analysis. Hmm. No, I, I can't accept that. <laughs> I've got to go back in and find out what I missed. Even if it's just the... It can't just be the enemy corpses, can it? I mean, that counts during a Dondori battle, so perhaps it counts here. Oh, there's a sprout. Ooh. Hello. There's like a very low humming sort of singing sound with the Mamuta. Oh, but they're back to being angry. Whoa. Baby rattle? That's crazy. Mamutas are back and it was like fuzzy. Okay, um 
Sightless Passage. Like, I only have... You know what? We can do that later. I have precious little daylight left, so if, if within the amount of time I can still explore, I want to still explore a cave uh, and figure out the 20% of this cave that I missed somehow. I suppose this is where uh, Russ would be smirking at me, saying that I should have uh, gotten the treasure gauge. What could I be missing? Well, there's more yellow pigment sprouts. The sprouts are back. What else could there be down here? I'll carry the remaining uh, enemy corpses. But I'd be hard pressed to find out what else I haven't discovered here. I don't think I need any extra Pikmin right now. Well, uh, hold on. I could always take more Pikmin. <laughs> what am I saying? They won't be able to be active on the field, but they can be active in here. And here is where I need them. Alright, you grab that. I know I collected everything there. Hmm. Maybe it really was the... the enemy corpses. Because they count for a little bit of sparklium, right? And I already got everything up on that spot with Ochi. Yeah, it might just be that. Okay, then where's the other one? Right down there. Well, for posterity's sake, I'll pluck the rest of these Pikmin. Hi, Ochi. <laughs> Ochi hopping when they reunite with you. It's lovely. There was nothing left in here. Yeah, that's where I found the Game Boy cartridge. Nectar. I don't need it. What are those yellow people doing back there? Are they still hiding? Oh no! They're unplucked! Maybe that's part of the thing I was missing. <laughs> I, I can't believe that... That certainly went under my radar. That's, like, everything in here. So I wonder... Let's head to the exit. If that's not everything, I won't press it. I'll come back at a later time. But, if that is everything, then that's good to know. That means that... Uh, collecting enemies that I defeat and defeating all the enemies, thus, 
is required for 100% completion. Six more creatures. Still not done. That's crazy. It's a treasure. It's a treasure that's missing. Hmm. But I really... I, I feel like I really searched that entire place. That's... That's gonna get my goat. <laughs> But we'll come back to it, like I said. I, I won't, uh... I won't bang my head against the wall, uh, searching for something there. I'll... I'll probably come back when I have the treasure gauge, and that'll make things easier. Okay, yes, we need to hurry up. But... Let's see, where's my base? It's right there. So, let's get this treasure. And that's why I went in the cave first. Because the cave was on a much tighter time limit than the end of the day. Misshapen pond. <laughs> All things considered, we didn't, like, cover that much distance today, but that's okay, because we still explored a lot of stuff. This place at sunset is quite beautiful. As is the calm water ambience. Okay, another day finished. Alright, we got Francois and someone who is a leafling. We can't identify them yet. And let's see here, we've got the sweat-soaked bluebird. The Sticky Jewel, so that is indeed a ring pop. Uh, Masterpiece Plank, the Hoop of Healing, the Micromanagement Station, and the Shake a Smile. And a couple of creatures. Great! We're so close to the 4000 cap! Oh my goodness! That means we'll have another area on top of the one that's still, like, completely new. Well, I guess not completely new, it's a quarter of the way explored. Great. Those caves count for a lot, I'm sure. Hello? By the way, Scruffy, if you press minus and open shortcut settings, you can assign different functions. I knew this. Aww. Really? Can you assign the rescue journal to one of those? Hey. Of course. And then you could reference it whenever you need some quick advice. You can even assign actions like disband or select items at the push of a button. Setting up shortcuts seems like a great way to improve your Dondori practice. Speaking of improvements, Colin, it would be more efficient if you shared such helpful information a lot sooner. He shared this on day one. Colin gets a bad rap. Alright. Right, we need to 100% areas, and... We need to report back to Dalmo because we have found 25 species of creatures. Great. All 
our collection of leaflings grows. <gasps> oh my! How long has that been there? The rescue command post was getting a bit crowded, so we started clearing a new area when we came upon something odd. A spaceship in disrepair! It's the SS Dolphin! Huh. It's clearly missing its captain. They're probably out there somewhere in need of rescue. We'll do our best to find them. Oh, the dramatic irony. I know who Olimar is. I, I know who, like, the red leafling person is. I know whose ship this is. They do not. And so I have to sit here. <laughs> I almost forgot! We also found some raw materials while establishing the new area. Please put them to good use. Alright, uh, let's see what that's all about. And Dalmo. Thank you for your help. I feel like an empty place inside me is being filled up. Great. Ah, that was so fascinating. You must let me know if you find any more new snarly snugglers out there. Alright. 50 creatures next time. Okay. Ah, that must be where Francois is set up. It's such a pleasure to speak with you. I am Francois, botany specialist and enthusiast. Are you a plant lover too? For years, I've been working on two-way communication between plants and, well, us. I think Pikmin might be the key. Oh, really? Kindness. That's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind. They listen to you when you talk and accept you, whoever you are. Who wouldn't want a friend like that? There'd be so much less sadness in this world if anyone could be... Everyone could befriend a Pikmin. For the good of civilization, we must propagate more Pikmin. Help me with this task for a token of my thanks. Grow the Pikmin population starting now. All right. Well, I grow them, and then I flower them, and then we conquer, or explore some more of the areas, and we'll have all these missions done in no time. Also, let's get a closer look at the SS Dolphin here. We just... I can't believe we just happened to land in the exact spot where it crashed. Gosh. You know, they may have designed it to look worse for wear, but the SS Dolphin has never looked better. <laughs> uh, because it's so high definition and like... Uh, I love the textures around it, the, the grunge and the dirt uh, on the panels there. Uh, it's lovely. But it is in a sad state, and it is kind of sad that... Well, what are we going to do about that? We've got to rescue, or we've got to apprehend at least, Olimar, and uh, get him back to his ship. Maybe get his ship repaired. Something like that. But we will get on that next time. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I'd like to thank my patrons who support my work and make things like this possible. And yeah, next time we will explore more of the blossoming Arcadia, probably venture into some more caves, get some more uh, castaways, and maybe we'll get the blue onion. Uh, if I can fit that into a day, I I'd like to take a day to just grab the blue onion. And I don't know if that, maybe propagate some blue Pikmin, maybe I have to find blue Pikmin first, but either way, it'd be very helpful to have blue Pikmin with me. So, for now, I'm Scruffy, <laughs> signing off, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye